I'm Anna, I'm a nurse, and I started thousands of IVs on patients ranging from 24-week premature neonates all the way up to the elderly. Here are three of the most common reasons why I see nurses missing IVs. First, they don't know anatomy, both the anatomy of the IV catheter that they're using and human anatomy. IV catheters of different gauge sizes, even within the same product line made by the same manufacturer, often have different designs. Know how the manufacturer designed the product that you're using. Knowing human anatomy is also crucial. The venous system should be memorized so you know exactly where to look for veins. The second reason nurses miss IVs is because they don't know how to plump up veins. Veins that you can see and veins that you can feel are veins that you can successfully poke. To plump up veins, you have to position your patient well. The heart is a pump and you must use gravity to create a dependent venous stasis. This means that the extremity you're poking needs to be as below the level of the heart as possible. You also need heat to plump up veins. Think of how big your veins are in the shower or when running your hand under hot water. We want the same effect on the vein that you're going to poke. Wrapping your patient in warm blankets or using heat packs is a great way to accomplish this. You also want to make sure that your tourniquet is tight enough. A tourniquet that's tight enough cuts off venous return while still allowing arterial flow. You want as much blood pooling up in the extremity as possible to beef up the vein that you're poking. The third and final reason I see nurses miss IVs is because they don't use their resources. This includes visualization tools like the vein viewer, transilluminator, and ultrasound. Another resource is lighting and taking the time to grab additional lighting to better visualize the vein that you're poking. Also, don't forget that you may need the additional resource of extra hands, especially in pediatric and neonatal populations. I've seen great IV attempts turn unsuccessful when the kiddo moved because there weren't enough hands to keep them from wiggling. I hope this was helpful. Let me know how these tips have improved your IV success rate.